Why did you put your shoes on the wrong feet? <laughs> Whatever change in your life, whether it's a beginning or an end, boo boo is. Oh my gosh! I love kombucha products. I got this off Amazon. A true fruit. Yay! Walmart really does sketch me out sometimes. Show you what heaven looks like. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another vlog. No. Yes. Yeah. Stop what? So on TikTok every single Monday, me and Hila do a crumble <laughs> cookie review, and she obviously is very excited. No do you guys see these? No way! No. Can you learn patience, Samuel? No way! They're not yours. They're mine, and I'm sharing with you. One little cute pony. Okay. Ready, ready, ready. Look, look, look. Say hi. <laughs> Welcome to our weekly crumble review. Say please. <laughs> Say cookies. cookies. And these are fresh boys. We are in the crumble parking lot. About to taste Go these. Me. Go ahead. First bite. Mmm. Wow. Ten out of ten. Like I said, every single time crumble does. Camera overheated, but we're on our last cookie. Um my driver has the windows. <laughs> going in 95 sunny weather. Whoa, I am scared. What are you doing? Are you reading a book? Yeah. Where's the bunny? Hot little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. And stop. Head. Where's your head? Where's your nose? Where's your tongue? Where's your tongue? La, 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 la. Is it raining? <gasps> Is it raining? Say rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. If you don't, I don't care. I'll pull down my underwear. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you say mama? Mama. Can you say mama? Mama. Can you say dada? Dada. Can you say bubba? Can you say pickle? Can you say pickle? Can you say lita? Dada. She sits in her chair and moves the desk where she wants it to go. <laughs> you are so smart. Good job. I feel so bad about this bruise on her head. Look how cute my heart ice cubes are. So cute. Here we go. This is Halo's breakfast. I just have two little pancakes. I put agave on her pancakes, raspberries, and then some scrambled eggs. This portion of the vlog is in partnership with Till Humped. They sent over Little Miss Halo a Montessori weaning table and chair set. And you guys, she is obsessed with it. She wants to do everything from her big girl chair. It is designed for kids ages eight months to four years old, and it comes in two different colors. We went with the white one, but there's also a gray option. And if you have a messy toddler who spills everything, gets stains on everything, and makes a mess everywhere, same here. Don't worry about that because it has a waterproof and easy to clean surface. So as you can see her raspberries from breakfast were all stained on the table, but they come out so easy It has these smooth edges. So you don't have to worry about any boo-boos Halo literally is getting a new boo-boo every single day. She has a bruise on her head She's a scratch under her eye her knee scraped her chin is cut like she's always just getting into something So this gives me peace of mind knowing that it's like smooth edges and she's not gonna get hurt 
Also, another safety feature can be found on the bottom of the chair and the table, which I didn't even do yet, but if you peel off these tabs on the bottom, I have this non-slip feature to help if you have it on hardwood or whatever floor so it doesn't slip around. And this way it can stay sturdy on the ground. So much of a difference. Okay, so some of my favorite features about it is how easy it is to store. It's super compact. It's nice, white, and neutral, so it looks good in the living room. She wants to do absolutely everything from here, from like watching her movies, coloring, doing activities, eating snacks and food, watching TV. Like she loves sitting here. This is her big girl chair. It's actually so cute. Also, it's great safety-wise. It has the nice, smooth, soft edges, and it also is made of a durable birchwood plywood so it's super safe sturdy and all that good stuff and lastly it has an adjustable seat height feature so it accommodates different heights and needs so it'll be able to grow with her over time which is another amazing feature about it adjusting the seat is actually so easy these three holes here are the different height accommodations you can do so right now halos is on the very top one that's where the platform is sitting but you can move it down two more notches all you have to do is just unscrew those two and then the other two on this side and just move the platform up or down, whichever you need. If you guys wanna check them out, they're on Amazon. I'll have them linked down below. Thank you again to Till Humped for sending over this table and sponsoring this portion of the vlog. And can you say thank you for sending me over my table? <laughs> we just finished coloring our pictures. So this one is Halo's creation. And then this one's mine. I'm just gonna say this is not my best work, okay? I'll show you guys in the next vlog how good I actually can do. This is just very mid for me, but I take my coloring very seriously. I'm the mom that does not let her daughter even come close to my coloring book. I started off coloring next to her, but then she got a little too handsy with me trying to color on my pages, so I moved and spent some time alone peacefully coloring. Are you ready to go swimming? <laughs> yeah! We gotta go change your diaper because I'm pretty Mom. sure you pooped. Did you poo poo? No. Yes, you did. Knuckles. Mm. Mm. Let's go swimming. Come on. Let's go. Go, go, go. Can I have some? Like, I need this sugar. No way. If it's so sour, why do you keep eating it? Light. 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 Red. Red light. Gam, Gam, put your shoes on the wrong I'm sorry. Sit down. Hi. Tell Gam, Gam, say bye bye, Gam, Gam. Love you, okay? Love you. Oh, she knows. Guys, have a great, safe travels. It's okay. Say bye bye. <laughs> Say bye bye. Good morning. Halo. You want a croissant? Homegirl slump. I just stopped at Starbucks. Surprise, surprise. I got a croissant for me and her to share. And I got my shaken espresso. Ooh. That's a bold one today. But we need to have a little combo because I feel like God has been putting this word on my heart. Like he's been bugging me, okay? He's like, I need you to deliver this word to as many people as you can. And I'm just like, I feel like every single time I'm at a church service or sermons I'm listening to, even books I'm reading or the Bible, like I'm reading a yearly Bible plan. So I'm not even choosing which books of the Bible, which stories of the Bible, which scriptures in the Bible I'm reading. Like it's all planned out for me. And it's just so timely. Like every single time I'm reading or 
anytime I'm in his presence, like I feel like it just literally is right in front of my face. And it's just something that he wants me to share and he wants me to deliver. It's just his divine intervention in my life is just constantly revolving around this. Like it's everywhere. And it's just that I want to encourage whoever is listening to this that if you're planning on starting a new endeavor or you're planning on getting into a new relationship or if any like change is coming upon your life or anything new is like an opportunity in your life right now, do it with God. Make God the foundation of it all. Like pray to him, invite him in, ask him to surround his Holy Spirit around you and to provide you with guidance on how to lead the situation or whatever it is that's in your life, like good or bad. Maybe you got a diagnosis. Maybe it's not good news. Maybe it's like changes that you don't want to deal with or an end of a relationship or a friendship, like whatever change in your life, whether it's a beginning or an end, just invite God into it. Okay. Good or bad, invite God into it because I just feel so encouraged after feeling like God put on my heart that when you do things with him, they work, they last, they sustain themselves. They are able to be fixed if they get broken. Like they will be able to harvest even if they're in a season of drought. That whenever you do things with God, there's always hope, there's always goodness. His will will be done and his will is always best. But on the other end of the spectrum, when you do things apart from God, whenever you don't invite him into your plans, like you can try to do whatever you want, but it will not last. It's not lasting, it's not fulfilling, it's not something that you can sustain and it fades away or it fails. Like it's just not possible to do these things for the good or for the better or for success or for achievement for, or anything without God. This is for businesses. This is for marriages. This is for your parenting. This is for just living your life in general. If you do it aside from God, it fails. Look at schools in our nation. When God is taken out of the schools, look at what's happening. But look at our government. Like our nation was founded on the basic principles of the Bible, of God. It was one nation under God and now God's stripped from our government and look at the corruption and look at everything that's going wrong with that. You see it all the time, families and marriages and things just breaking and not able to be fixed because there's no firm foundation. But of course, there is still going to be troubles even if you live a Christian lifestyle, even if you give your life to Jesus, there will always be troubles but they can always be mended, healed, fixed, redeemed, restored, delivered because God is good. Whatever new chapter you plan on entering into, whatever old chapter you plan on closing and just moving on from always invite God with you for the rest of the journey for the rest of the way but anyways I don't know I feel like that was on my heart I feel like God was telling me I needed to encourage you guys or whoever's listening to always choose to do life with God hallelujah amen God is good <laughs>
I'd never be this mom. It's okay. Anything for my baby. So I've actually decided it's a no-go. We're gonna put them in this nice little jar and anytime she wants to play with them, she can play with them, but they're not gonna be sitting on my fridge and doing this all day. No, 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 no. We don't froth it, baby. We're gonna mix it all up and make it yummy, okay? Mmm. -hmm. There you go. Say please. Yeah. Say thanks. Say thanks. Ow. Say thanks. Okay. Well, we try. Mm, 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 mm. Be nice. Okay, I have to show you guys literally the best invention in the entire world. I got this off Amazon, and it's like a bottle cleaner, cup cleaner. It shoots water up in it and cleans it out, and it makes it so much easier but it's for bottles or like anything that can fit right here literally amazing you guys i'm so hyped right now two reasons first i found these two old lip glosses i hope they're not expired they for sure probably are <gasps> i will never be in my matte lip era like i am a glossy girl through and through cute okay i just hurried up and got ready as fast as i possibly could i'm gonna throw a couple curls in my hair i think don't pay attention to the dirty mirror but i'm gonna throw a couple curls in my hair and then i'm going to go to Walmart, my friend just texted me and let me know that Walmart's Easy Peasy brand for the toddlers, which is absolutely hands down the cutest brand they carry, is having everything for a dollar sale. And I just, I can't believe I have to see for myself. So we're gonna go run to Walmart and just pick up everything we could find. I love that brand so much. That and Modern Moments are like the best at Walmart. So we're gonna do that. I also gotta just pick up a few things and then I think I'm gonna take Halo to the splash pad. I wanted to have a little summer day. Okay, tell me why I just feel so sus going to the gas station for a beverage and then going to Walmart. Like, <laughs> something just doesn't feel right. You know I'm normally like a Target and Starbucks girly. Did I just break my straw? Gas station haul, we got Topo Chico. I really think there's a difference in, oh my gosh, what is going on with me? And then we got a mega cup of ice. This ice is the absolute. And I got pistachios, but I got the salt and pep kind, and then I got a perfect bar. I really, really, really wanted a Bear Bell bar. I thought they sold them in there, but I didn't see them. Okay, they have the brand here, but is it a dollar? It doesn't say a dollar. Well, guys, that was a bust. Somehow I managed to spend $148. So I just bought her PJs. I put back the other stuff. I did have a whole cart and I was gonna get it even though it wasn't a dollar. If it was a dollar, I would've just got it. But they were like picked over with all the sizes. So I just got her two different PJs. I think they're both boys, but it's a little t-shirt and short set. So cute. And I just realized both of them have like moons and skies on them. Probably can't even hear me because of my loud air. But we got her two different PJs. I took a leap and decided to buy a sheet set from Walmart. I don't know how I'm gonna like it. It was $60. I'll just return if I don't like it, but I really liked the Paisley print and it's like neutral. My husband showers, I swear, but he still just has like work all over his body. I don't know how to explain it. Like he just, eh. He works in the oil industry, okay? So he's like out there every single day getting just like grease and oil and dirt and fumes all over his body and then he brings that home and he showers it off but then I swear his part of the bed, okay, I'm sorry, I just lost my train of thought. I hate Walmart. Like I don't mean to be judgy but like Walmart really does sketch me out sometimes. And I hate to be one of those people but all these like human trafficking things I see all over the place <sighs> doors are locked and my eyes are peeled I'm like so hyper aware of my surroundings it's not even funny but I hate being like that because it's just it's so anxiety ridden to me but at the same time I love being like that because <clears throat> there's just no other way to be especially when you got a baby what was I saying oh Sam he leaves like a silhouette of his body on the sheets and right now I have white sheets because I just I love a white on white moment but I just can't do it anymore with him so we got a neutral with like a little white paisley we got Mentos gum slacks I got her two bikinis because they were only seven dollars 
These I did get in 18 months. I just realized that. Why do they look so tiny? Halo is like little limbs, but like a big old belly. So this will be perfect. But I just like the colors. So cute. Fun. Gives Barbie vibes. It'll be cute for a cute little tan. I got her this one too. Just like a little floral print. I got some sunscreen. I got Sam some saline solution. I got some trash bags. Now, on to what I'm excited about. I got true fruit. You guys, I've never had this. I've had dried true fruit where it's like the not frozen ones. And it was like mid. But everyone says you have to get the frozen raspberry. Not even the strawberry. Like I'm a strawberry girl over raspberries, but everyone says no, you've got to do the raspberries. Mm. Halo would love this. Okay, it's so good, but my teeth can't handle this. I hate biting into cold things. Mm. That is good though. I'm gonna let her try it. She's gonna try this. Halo's a psychopath. She can literally bite anything. It doesn't matter if it's ice cubes. made some yummy dinner i kind of burnt the salmon but these pinwheels are from target they're so good it's like a spinach and artichoke stuffed salmon it's so good and then we have like carrots sweet potatoes and potatoes on top of rice Angel. happy monday guys before we end the vlog i figured i would just show you what heaven looks like we're about to film a tiktok we love you guys thumbs up millie billy truly and we'll see you in the next video say bye